The Lord is always teaching us. When he's silent, he's teaching us. When he's present, he's teaching us. When he's absent, he's teaching us. That alone is a message for us. It's not just when he shows up that he's teaching us. It's during the duration while he, we wait. Yeah. He's teaching us. Yeah. Not when he walks with us, but it is when we feel so apart from him that he is teaching us. He told the disciple, he told the disciple, you go on across the sea. Yeah. And there Jesus was left alone. There are times, I don't care how much of a disciple you are, you feel apart from God and alone. Yeah. There are times you feel that if God has no idea what's going on in your life. When you're in the middle, in the midst of a personal storm, a private storm, just because you go to church doesn't mean that you're not having personal storm. I stop by to tell you, if you're going through a storm, at least have the benefit of company. The disciple had an opportunity to walk with Jesus, to talk with Jesus, to be instructed by Jesus, to be corrected by Jesus. But now the instructor have stepped out of the room and left them alone. Alone with their tools. Alone with their own tools. And it's what you do when you are alone that determines how much you really have learned. It is when you are, it is when no one is looking how you react to the issues of life. And sometimes I'm concerned with our faith teaching. Sometimes we say, if you have great faith, you won't have to go through anything. But if you don't go through anything, how would you know that you have great faith? It is the storms of life that educate us to where we stand with God. The Bible said, in the fourth watch of the night, the most intense part of the night is when the disciple was away from God and the storm arose. I need to tell you this morning, there will be storms in your life. Just because you're having a storm in your life doesn't mean that you're not a Christian or there's something wrong with your faith. The storms are like a test for you. It's through the storm that you can evaluate your progress in God. You don't have to be afraid if you have taken your classes and done your homework because when the storm comes, you can rise like an eagle above the storm. Because if God be for us, who can be against us? What storm, what lightning, what calamity, what crisis, what disorder? If God be for us, what tumor, what cancer, what enemy, what job, what boss? If God be for us, Anybody would invest in a company that's going up 
but who would invest in a company that's going down? I didn't understand why God would give power to someone that is going down. But Isaiah reminded me that he gave power to the faint. Yeah. I'm telling somebody that was doing real good and now you started going down. That same God that called you out of the boat got the power. Yeah. I said that same God that called you out of the boat got the power. Yeah. Power when everything is going down yeah. and things are getting worse. Power when you get yourself in trouble and the enemy starts to laugh at you. Power when they come to pick up your car and the enemy says, how's your faith blessing you now? He got the power. And just when hell was getting ready to have a party and the demon was making a cake and the hellhound was gathering up the candle and there was going to be a party. But before they could start the party, they was getting ready to blow the horns and put their hats on. Power stepped in. There's power to the man that's going down. The Bible said Peter began to see. He began, but he didn't finish. God had a way of showing up before you go all the way down. Though he fall, he will not utterly be cast down. I got to stop right here. I got to stop right here and tell you many out of time I began to see, but I would have sunk had it not been for the Lord. That was on my side. Touch your neighbor. Somebody touch your neighbor and tell them, say, neighbor. Come on, y'all. Say, neighbor. I began to see. But before the devil. Say it again. But before the devil. Could take me under. The Lord stopped by. With power. And began. To raise me up. Somebody stay on back. The power of God will pull you out, church. Right when Peter was beginning to sink, he pulled him out. Listen, listen. I don't think y'all really, 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 really appreciate that. John, come here, come here, come here, come here. Listen, listen, listen. Right here, when Peter began to sink, He was sinking. Sink, John. Sink. Sink. Sink, John. Sink. 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 I'm not going to hold him too long. Right. right. Now, and I want y'all to get this. If you get this, the lesson will be yours, okay? All right. Let's see. When Peter began to sink, he was in the storm. And he began to sink. I told you about the provision of God. I told you about the presence of God. I even told you about the power of God. And so Peter began to sink. He started going on. And the Bible said, Peter called out to the Lord. He said, he said, Lord, save me. Save me. And right when Peter thought that he was gonna, going to die, the Bible said, me. God reached up. And grab it. But, but that ain't the shower point. That ain't the shower point. Watch this, watch this. I, I need for you to understand that there still was a storm. I need for you to understand that the, the wind still was blowing. It still was raining. The thundering still was thundering. But the Bible said, the Bible said, right in the middle of the storm, when Peter thought that he was going to die, that the Lord reached down and immediately picked him up. Yeah. You know what they did? In the middle of that storm, hmm. they began to walk. Yes, oh, yes. In the middle yes. of the storm. That's your shout point, church. Thank you, John. That's your shout point. In the middle of the storm. That's the purpose of God. That's my final point, y'all. That's the purpose of God. His purpose is to let you take a walk in the middle of your storm. His person, his purpose is he's going to let you walk on the thing that had you on them. When you get in the purpose of God, when you truly get in the purpose of God, no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. And that's your shout point. The sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful soul.
So mighty and so true, Mary. 